The US-China Economic and Security Review Commission has accused China of running a disinformation campaign against India, using fake social media accounts to spread AI-generated images of Rafale aircraft debris. According to the Commission's annual report to US Congress, China sought to disrupt French Rafale sales and promote its own J-35, by circulating fabricated debris visuals, and misleading narratives through coordinated fake profiles. Rostec CEO has said, that Russia and India remain strategic partners, and Russia is prepared to provide India with any military equipment required for its security. India's Tejas fighter jet made a strong impression at the Dubai Air Show 2025, while Pakistan's JF-17 failed to secure flight clearance on day 1 and day 2 due to a start pump malfunction, and it remains grounded on day 3 as the issue persists. Solar Industries has bagged export orders worth 1,400 crore rupees for the supply of defense products, to be delivered over a period of 4 years. Russia has revealed its unmanned Su-75 Checkmate Wingman variant at the Dubai Air Show 2025, which is a stealthy fighter-shaped UCAF capable of autonomous strike and reconnaissance missions, designed to operate alongside the Su-57 and Su-75. Hyderabad-based Green Robotics is set to launch the Indragel Ranger on 26 November which is a SUV vehicle-mounted counter UAV system designed for rapid deployment in border zones and tactical operations. India's Prale Tactical Quasi-Ballistic Missile, which was earlier inducted in limited numbers by the Indian Army, has now received a major boost with a fresh 2025 acceptance of necessity, that clears the way for full-scale production and joint deployment by both the Army and Air Force, and two production partners have been selected to begin mass production. India conducted three successful tests of the new saw electro-optical variant with the cooled Seeker Mark I in 2024, and latest reports indicate that development is now shifting to an advanced cooled Mark II Seeker for better thermal management, faster image processing, and higher resolution tracking for precision engagements during high temperature missions. India's Aeronautical Development Agency has launched a new program, to develop next-generation stealth materials using artificial electromagnetic structures like metamaterials and frequency-selective surfaces. The goal is to develop a lightweight broadband radar-absorbing coatings, that can be built directly into airframes without compromising strength, designed to cut radar signatures across all bands for platforms such as Tejas Mark II, AMCA and even strategic missiles. The Indian Air Force is preparing to begin trials of the data patterns developed Talon Shield Airborne Jammer Pod on the Su-30. Ground integration and captive tests on static airframes are underway, with flight trials targeted for early 2026, that will replace aging imported jammers and reduce foreign dependence, while opening potential export avenues for India. Russia has presented a sweeping proposal on the sidelines of the Dubai Air Show 2025, that would allow India not only to procure the Su-57E fifth-generation fighter jet, but also to manufacture and localize the jet completely within the country through deep technology transfer. An initial batch of 60 Su-57 is being explored, and central to the proposal is Russia's new product 177S fifth-generation jet engine for both the Super Shukhoi upgrade and Su-57 program. Russia had recently briefed a high-level Indian delegation on the product 177S engine and its compatibility with Halkaraput's AL-31 FP engine ecosystem, and achieving at least 50% indigenization of engine production, backed by a potential 20,000 crore rupees joint investment. A comprehensive localization and co-production roadmap is expected to be finalized during President Vladimir Putin's visit to India for the India-Russia summit on 5th December. Today's top 3 comments. Oh, Mark, drop it.